Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new Seth Worthy Convention video. I have been on these videos for, and this is before the game came out, so it's been quite a while. But today, I want to discuss if Sackboy is Big Adventure is the best Little Big Planet game. Now, we've had, this is the ninth LBP game. We had 1, 2, 3, Carding, Vita, PSP, Pre-Story Move, and Run, Sackboy Run. This is the ninth installment in the LBP franchise. However, is it the best? So, people are saying this is the best games ever. I, have, I haven't finished it. I'm still like halfway through World Force. I've played enough of the game to give a full opinion on it. Like what you see, hit the subscribe button. Any. Anyway, basically what's happening is that I want to look at all different sections. First off, we have the story. When I say story, I mean the actual cutscenes themselves and the story, not, not, not the levels. The story, I'm not going to say is the best. Okay, I find two story, in my opinion, was much more interesting, much more engaging. So overall, I had way better characters, in my opinion, were more interesting, more fun to look at. I do like Naomi from the space area. She's really cool. Um, the cactus guy is pretty cool as well. The monkey girl's alright. I mean, the, most of them are pretty cool, but they're nowhere near just as good as the LBP2 characters were. They were, if they were impossible to forget. I think Neil, but maybe except for Naomi, every other character in Sackboy, A Big Adventure, is very, very forgettable. Next up is the level design. I'm actually going to argue this is, again, not the best. Obviously, 3D games, 2D games are much different, but I feel like it's just a bit more empty in general. It isn't action-packed. They do have tons of variety in levels, but overall, it's still basically the same. Again, I want to argue that LBP2 had slightly better levels, at least the ones I play for LBP2. This is kind of a hard one. I feel like it's tied with LBP2 and LBP3 in terms of the level design themselves. So for that one, I'm going to stick for a tie for that. I'm not 100% sure though. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Music. This is going to be a really controversial decision. Because the LVP games had way better original music. However, Sackboy and Big Adventure is all licensed music of Uptown Funk to create music levels very similar from Grandman Legend, and these are so good. They are one of my favorite levels in the game where there's a song in every single thing, enemy and obstacle dances to the beat of the music. Uptown Funk it up. I found that so fun and just so creative. I feel like those are the best levels in this game. At least the ones I haven't played, I haven't played World 5 yet. But yeah, for music, I'm going to say this again. Beats. Beats it so far. Physics and overall gameplay. So, I'm, I'm going to avoid gadgets. We'll go gadgets later. The gameplay, I thought like the physics is worse. Sick Boy is more of a floaty character. And in, in, in 2D games, um, you don't really need floaty characters because it's nowhere near as precise. In 3D games, you have to have very precise platforming. <laughs> And because it isn't floaty at all, and it's way more physics based, it's super hard to accurately land on enemies and accurately do jumps. Without the flutter, I feel like the flutter jump, the slap move, and the roll can be used in mid-air to get very far jumps. So while I think the physics isn't as good, the move set is severely improved and way more fun to play with than the original games, okay? Costumes and customization. We're gonna avoid create mode because it doesn't actually exist in this game. But the costumes it definitely loses. There just aren't nowhere near as many creative costumes. They're a lot harder to get because there's way less collectibles. So that one's a bit of like a uh eh. When it comes to the collectibles themselves, um, th there's not that many. The Dreamer Orbs are really fun to collect, but they're nowhere near as satisfying as collecting tons of prize bubbles and scoring that like 100% collection in all, the pr in all the prizes. Overall, I'm going to say that the LBP2 LBP games beat it. Uh, then we have, of course, the visuals and the feel of the overall game. Now, for me, I feel like LBP2 it has a great feel. When you play LBP2 for the first time, it gives you this really big feeling of happiness and joy, and it's just so fun. Second World Big Adventure is fun, yes, but I just don't think it's as exciting and as fun to play as LBP2 was. This one, I played it in my opinion. I've only played it a few times, but it was so much had a bit of feel to it, a bit of visual design, in my opinion, as well. But you could say that the event treats a little bit better, but for me, LBP2 is my preferred one. When it comes to the technical elements of the game, such as graphics and frame rate, this game obviously kicks all the other game's asses, probably because it's on the PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, which are much more advanced than they were on the previous console, PS4, LP3. It was an early gen PS4 game. So it wasn't that advanced compared to the Legend PS4 game, which is severely advanced. 
from the early ones. So I'm not going to go through every other tiny detail, but I feel like I've gone through most of what I need to go through. Overall, I would say that Sacramento is not the best LVP game, but I definitely rank it as one of the best. Maybe maybe underneath the first two LVP games. But yeah, certainly is one of the best, but not the best LVP game. Now, before you guys leave, I want to ask you a like on this video if you enjoy. Comment down below your thoughts. I'm sure you guys have your own opinions. I'd like to hear all that. I'll reply to everyone in the comments when I, can, when I can. And subscribe to the channel. I will do very well content on this network just, just like this. And I'm also, doing, I'm also doing a really, really cool walkthrough. Check that out as well. But for now, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.